Hey everybody, the Bong is here ready to give you a brand new Let's Play. Castlevania Circle of the Moon for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance and is brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Alright, I remember doing this Let's Play many years ago on my own channel. And it was about the time of one of my first Game Boy Advance Let's Plays. It was definitely a fun Castlevania game, though it is quite hard compared to the other two on the Game Boy Advance, Harmony of Dissonance and Aria of Sorrow. So, why not do this one again, this time on Much Games? I'm pretty sure I'll do a little bit better. I'll try to get all the cards, but most of them are luck-based. It is 1830 ellipsis. At an old Austrian castle. From the worshippers of chaos rise the plea for the return of the Lord of Darkness. Yeah, they actually put in like red text and it can sometimes be a bit hard to read. But thankfully the backdrop is not too reddish. Otherwise it'd be way too difficult. We crave the presence of the embodiment of suffering, the ruler of darkness. Okay, her name is Camilla, though in most Castlevania games she's known as Carmilla. Well, that's basically the same thing. I have waited for this moment to be awake again, to bask in darkness and feel the moonlight within. Count Dracula, I am honored to be in your presence. Indeed. Though I lack my full power, as usual. We are preparing the right to replenish your power. Stop! You cannot be allowed to taint the world. You. I remember. You were one of the vampire killers that sealed me. You've aged. It is our duty to see you banished. Amusing. To use my nemesis life to return my power. I have no use for children. Be gone! Hugh! Nathan! Master! Father! Well, good to know we can't really break our legs. Huh. No creatures around here. Hugh! Are you okay? Yeah. We were just brushed aside and ignored. We have to find Master! I'll go. He's my father. Nathan, you'll be in the way. Just get out of here. Um, I can't exactly climb walls. So I have to go in the same way you're going. I want to find Master as much as anybody. Okay, you got your standard controls like A, jump, B is your whip, start to pause, which is pretty obvious, just go to your menu. And you got your DSS, also known as the Dual Setup System. These involve the cards that you're going to find later on dropped by enemies. They may not always drop, so you better hope you're lucky. You got your magic items over here that you're going to have to find later on. And if you're not comfortable with your controls, you can always change them. So, in any case, let's begin. Alright, so basically you find hearts hidden inside these candles candles, of course, you require to actually use your abilities. Oh, we got the Salamander card right away. Attribute and action cards will create a specific effect. These can be set at the menu, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Salamander is attribute. So, let's equip that. Okay, Lizard and Bathed in Flames. Okay, so in other words, we'll have the ability of fire. Uh, how do you get that set up, anyway? I'm guessing I can't because I don't have the action card yet. You need to have, like, a matching set, so to speak. Well, in other words, have at least one action and one attribute so you can put them together. They can't really function by themselves. So Skeleton Bombers will drop the Salamander attribute card. In other words, I gotta find a different type of enemy that will drop a different card. Otherwise, I can't take advantage of the DSS system. It's also a good idea to look for any hidden passages on the map. You just gotta press the select key, or select button, to find them. There you 
go. There's a passageway up there, but obviously I can't dock and crawl at the same time. You can also, like, hold down and hit the jump button in order to go across these, like, thin platforms. Same as you would in Contra. I mean, this is a Konami game, after all. No passages over here, so I guess we can just move on. Oh, you can't dash. Well, maybe you can later on in the game. Oh, now we're in the catacomb. So it gets its own music, which is quite neat. Hey, you can whip the bombs, too. That's pretty nice, if you feel like you won't be able to dodge them. Okay, there is a level up system as well, and the best way to level up is obviously to kill as many enemies as you can. And they actually have names, too. You got the Bonehead, also known as the Bone Pillars in traditional Castlevania games. There's a passageway over here, but we can't do anything about that box yet. We'll come back to that later. And another thing to note is that every time you leave an area and return, the enemies will just respawn in the exact same positions. So you can take advantage of that for grinding, depending on what enemies you're going against. There's also status ailments you've got to deal with as well, so try your best not to get afflicted by them. And just holding the attack button will allow you to do that. It's weak, but it covers enemies from pretty much all around you. Oh! The Mercury card. Okay, now we got ourselves this. Okay, so apparently bone pillars are strong against the uh, fire whip. Whenever you get a combination set up, it's going to show up as question mark until you actually know what the ability is. Sometimes that happens by attacking an enemy, or just using an attack in general, or even getting hit and see if it affects your defense. These are save stations, they'll definitely come in handy, because they recover all your health. So we got ourselves our first combination, which is like the Fire Whip. It's effective against some enemies, and not against others. Oh, we managed to get ourselves a Magic Gauntlet. And that increases your intelligence by 10. That's usually like your magic attacks. So, yeah, it's making this kind of the same. It's barely noticeable. Luckily, you can recover your MP pretty quickly. Up, oh, level up. I think your intelligence has a lot to do with that. Oh, we got ourselves a dagger. So nice to finally have a sub weapon. You just gotta hold up and hit the attack button to use it. So that's pretty cool. But we can't go to the left. There we go. Get rid of these poison worms. Again, you don't want to be poisoned. We don't even have items to recover it. Well, you might hear her. Yep, that's the antidote. That recovers poison, and hopefully we won't have to see ourselves use it right away. Is this the room I'm thinking of? We're going to be running into a new enemy? Yep, Earth Demon. Ow! Okay, let's see if fire works really well against him. That did like 15 damage. So, let's take a look here. 14. So, you're better off just using a regular whip. Damn it. Okay, I'm not faring too well against this Earth Demon. There. I was hoping it would drop something for me. Looks like there's only one in the entire area. Oh! Oh, I thought I could duck under that. I'll be taking this. Dash boots. Okay, now you can actually dash. That's cool. Usually whenever you pick up these magic items, they're required to allow you to advance. So it's a Metroidvania game very similar to like Symphony of the Night. And that leads to a different area, so I don't want to go there yet. Instead, I want to scour this place. Oh, 
lot of bats here. You know how I feel about bats in video games. If I can kill them, I'm happy. They probably won't give me much experience, though. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here? Probably not. So, I guess we'll just go through this door. Nothing really matters about what I take, does it? Yes, it does! Because I can't go through here. Most of the times, I'll probably just be grinding for some cards that I can't reach. Like, you know, there's no guarantee you're going to get them on the first try. Wow, the zombie was able to handle all that. Oh, huh, another level up. That's nice. Every little bit makes me that much stronger. And of course, gives me more hearts. Which allow me to use my sub-weapons a bit more. Whoa! Again, I don't want to be poisoned, but I'll take the damage. Oh, good, a potion. That allows me to recover health. How much does it recover? Like, 20? Yeah, it's 20. It doesn't seem all that great in all likelihood. So I'm going to hold on to it. Okay, so the more cards I get, the more combinations I can work with. So hopefully I can find some very good ones. As opposed to, you know, very bad ones. Because why would you want bad ones? Well, just being able to find them at all is going to be a godsend. Okay, should I go this way? Yeah, let's go down here. Oh god, another one of these. Dagger doesn't really help much either. As long as you're spamming the attack, I have no qualms with that. So at least I'll be able to, well, keep attacking. I'll equip another magic gauntlet, because really, I don't have anything else to go in that slot. Can't go down there. Can't go up here. So this is pretty much a dead end. Oh wait, yes I can! I forgot that I actually have this available right from the start. There. Heart max increases. Seems like very weird English, but at least now my hearts are much higher. Alright, let's continue on here. Hopefully I can find another save station, because I'm at like half my HP right now. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like a save station just before the boss. We'll run into our first boss shortly. Ooh! Secret. There, now my MP is even higher. Which allows me to use a flame whip a bit longer. Too bad it's not that effective against most enemies so far. Okay, is there anything here that's a dead end? It's probably just one way. Gotta keep scaling all this. Ouch! I'll definitely try to find all the passages and whatnot. I can't guarantee that I will. However, I'll definitely give it the old college try. Let me go this way. Okay, gotta deal with spirits. They're gonna keep spawning, so... Don't linger in this area for too long. Unless they were the type to actually drop something, then, you know, just linger around until they do. However, once they've done that, you're better off just leaving. I mean, let's see. Do they really do much for you? They're super strong against that as well. I'm guessing that's because my intelligence is not as high as my base attack. I don't think it has anything to do with fire resistance. Ow, that blast is still there. Taking some dumb damage, I don't like that. Oh! Gotta deal with Mud Man. Not related to that metal band that I used to listen to in the early 2000s. They just throw themselves at ya! God, I got too many spirits going at me. 
Oh, they dropped something. What mud men do with cotton clothes, I have no idea. But at least now my defense is higher. So many things in this game just doesn't make sense. But I guess it doesn't really have to. Okay, this works better against the mud men. I guess there's really no reason not to have this equipped. Actually, yeah, there is. Can't even take these guys out in one hit. Okay, let me check the left. There might be something good over here, other than more enemies. Huh, I actually blocked the attack. That's cool. Alright, I'm still very low on health. I don't like that. Wait, oh no, there's a new room. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Level up! Nope, nothing else here. Okay, so far so good. Again, I'm really hoping to find another save station. What level am I at now? Four? Yeah, it's four. That's good, I guess. Well, I'd rather be at a higher level, but... Beggars can't be choosers. There's probably a save station here. Nope, that's just where I came from. That allows me to go back. Okay. Hopefully I can find a save station before the boss. Or better yet, like an HP upgrade. There. That's even better. It basically functions as a save station. Unfortunately, if I do die, then I have to do all this again. My collectibles are not saved. Until I actually manually save. Oh, I think I prefer the axe. Over the daggers. Yeah, that'll definitely be much better against enemies that fly. So, I guess I'm gonna have to go back through here. Oh, that's right, that passageway down there to the right I gotta go. Fair enough. I can do that. So, I guess we're gonna have to keep looking around. That's what I like about these types of games where you actually feel the need to explore. Like, you can just see so much, you might find yourself in very hard areas and not even realize it. I should not have done that. Wait a minute, I haven't been here. You know what, this will be a good time to uh, call it an episode. So, in the next part, we're going to keep exploring this area. I think I should definitely... Can I go, like, just that room below me? I can give that a try, unless I've already attempted. So, see you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.